Greetings. Oh, hello. What is up? I am curious to know if I am the only person in this planet that receives the lamest fucking gifts for Christmas. Story time. Hammer time? No, story time. See, when I was little, I was used to getting all these sweet fucking gifts from relatives that I didn't even know. Oh, sweet, a remote control car from Grandma Old and Krusty. I didn't even think I had a Grandma Old and Krusty. Hey, is she related to Grandma Has No Hips? Or is she on the other side of the family with Grandma Orc Teeth? But the unfortunate truth is as you start to age, so do these relatives that you know. Sometimes they forget about you, sometimes they forget their own name, but the cold truth is that you are just too old for them to care about anymore. Instead of getting the keys to the city of Atlantis, or the non-pirated version of the program Photoshop, instead your grandma surprises you with gifts like these. Guess what, honey? I just bought you 23 Bibles! Okay, grandma, what the fuck am I supposed to do with 23 Bibles? Okay, I understand you're upset, but you could have a raging party, but instead of having beers you serve to people, you serve Bibles! Yay! Grandma, what the fuck? I shall now read a passage from Corinthians 3.12, and thou shalt party till thy pancreas falls off. Hey mom, grandma religious as fuck is going crazy in here. Yeah, she's doing jello shots off of a chick's back. And the Lord said, shit yeah. But the worst possible age that you could possibly be is 20. Or zero, because you'd be dead or a sperm in your dad's ball sack. And why 20? Because 20 is the age where you cannot go into high school and hit on underage girls anymore. Like, it is no longer cool to hit on underage girls. Because it's like, oh he's 18, it's fine. 19, you know, that's, that's still okay. Once you hear 20 though, like a guy is 20 years old, that is the creepiest thing ever. You know, you see a 20 year old guy just chilling out at a high school and he's like, hey, how's it going? I like your boobs. They're looking mighty fine. And then the girl's just like, <laughs> What did I do? That guy over there, he's 20. And then the principal comes out of nowhere with a fucking shotgun. He's got it loaded up and he's about to blow your fucking brains out. Hey, we got a 20 year old here. You call the cops. Like sure, the one cool thing about being 20 is that in one year you're 21. Oh uh, yeah, that's really cool. But if you're anything like me, you don't even drink. So I guess when you're 21, you just go to the liquor store and say, hey, hey, hey guess what? I'm 21. Guess what I can do? Um, you could buy alcohol. Yeah! Okay, are you going to? <laughs> no. Uh, okay, then get the fuck out of here. Oh, okay. I'll just see you later. And the other horrible thing about being 20 is that girls my age are really fucking dumb. Like, for the love of Gandhi's ribs, I would rather swallow jackal shit. I would rather braid the ass hair of Robin Williams than to be with some of the girls that exist where I live. It seems like girls have two modes most of the time. First, there's the sweet side that when you buy them flowers or the first season of True Blood on DVD, they say stuff like, <laughs> What? I don't know where I just found this random pirate hat, but let's continue. This is a rather serious bump on my head. Oh my god, I think I'm bleeding. <gasps> but on the other side, girls tend to transform into a completely different person when they don't get what they want. True story, at one point I had a girlfriend that I decided I wanted to be a gentlemanly boyfriend and take to the movies. So at first she was all like, oh my Okay, firstly, I don't know what you just said, bitch. Secondly, we're gonna go see Narnia. And as soon as I say Narnia, this girl that I otherwise thought was awesome and cute and funny transforms into a completely different person. Narnia! I hate Narnia! Fucking Mr. Tumnus and his stupid legs! Okay, what just happened? A second ago, you sounded like Minnie Mouse, and now all of a sudden, you sound like Darth Sidious from Star Wars. Take me home. I must attend to the completion of the Death Star. Dude, can we please just go see Narnia? I just wanna go see four ugly kids get into an epic battle and fight for their lives. Is that too much to ask for? I'm on my period, okay? That would explain a lot. I was not aware I was dating the girl from The Exorcist. That past sequence was directed by M. Night Shyamalan. Whoever named that guy needs to be shot in the head. And the end of the story is I didn't even get to go see Narnia. Instead, I had to drive the Sith Lord home and go to my house and watch Pluto Nash for the rest of the night. Can you say worst night ever? I sure can, Destry. Do you guys know that I'm a really excellent speaker of parcel talk? Check this out. Hey guys, it's Jared the Snake. I heard y'all calling me. You being all fancy about it, but you could have just said hello. Anyways, I just wanted to come by and slither for y'all. 
Jerry, get the fuck out of here! Anyways, I guess the point that I'm trying to get across, if there's any point whatsoever to this video, is don't be too eager to grow up and get out of the house. So, that's all I have for you guys today. But if you like this video, make sure to subscribe for some more, and like this video in case you liked it. If you didn't, then screw you, man! I wanted to do something really spiffy this video, and that is, give away another fucking shirt! I'm giving away this shirt! Right, Hizzle? If you want that shirt, then like this video, favorite it, and go to our face nook page, which is right there! At this face nook page, you will find the answer to life. At that face nook page, all you need to do is write Destry. I would really appreciate having that shirt, and I will be picking one of those randomly and announcing it on the next Q&A video on my personal channel, which you can find right there! So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There will be more to come, so subscribe, subscribe, and I will see you later. So, fair winds, YouTube! Line.